Now, okay, I did just promise we would give you some suggestions for a Valentine's Day gift, and of course, a wonderful, beautiful go-to is always flowers. So we have Michelle with Goose Hollow Flowers to show us some flowers you can get your loved one, no matter what your budget. And Michelle, you were telling me it is good to plan now. People might be saying, don't start the Valentine's Day hype. It's, we're still nine days away, but it's good to start it now, right? Absolutely. <laughs> um, the early bird, you know, gets the worm for sure. Gets the flowers. Um, Really, when people start placing orders for Valentine's Day as a florist, uh, you know, we fill those orders first versus walk-ins, right? Ooh. So you're going to get the best quality, the really fun stuff if you plan ahead a little bit. And I don't really think that you should wait till Valentine's Day. I really think that it could be spread out throughout the week. Then it's more of a surprise. It's a week of love. Totally. Right? <laughs> and I feel like February now is just a month of love. So right, really, right, any right. Any time so, of the month. And, and really, it's just going to set yourself up for romance longer <laughs> than just one day. I mean, you can definitely spread things out. Ladies, gentlemen, everybody, Michelle is here to share <laughs> some tips for romance in your lives on Valentine's Day and beyond. Now, the other thing, people might think, okay, Go with the red roses. Right. Traditional. Obviously romantic. That's yeah. beautiful if that's what you want, if that's what right. your significant other wants. That sounds great. But you have so many things on the table that I would right. never think go into a flower shop and send beer, yeah. send some <laughs> succulents. So what else yeah. do you have going on here? Well, traditionally, yes, the you know dozen or two red roses. That's very traditional, which is really great and classic. You can never go wrong with that. Right. And, Classic champagne and chocolates oh, and mm -hmm. smaller little rose bouquets are great. But there's a lot of great ways to express your love and there's a lot locally as well. So this arrangement over here is utilizing all local produce. Um, we've got tulips from Hubick Farms. We've got uh, stargazer lilies from Peter Court. Wow. Uh, we've got quince, forced blooming quince, um, pussy willow, andromeda. So um, there's a lot it locally really that too. you can support your local growers and farmers. And then you got to support the local brewers, local right? Local brewers, right. A, right. Is and this called a beer garden? Yes, this is our <laughs> beer garden. And there's no reason why you have to, like men can get flowers and plants for Valentine's totally. as well. Or so women can get really, beer and plants. Why not? I would love this. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Which is why we created the beer garden. <laughs> and so then you have plants also that you can use year round. So that's going to make things last even longer. And then this is a little bit less traditional. You know, it's not your stereotypical red roses. And then obviously terrariums are fun and popular right now and that's also one way to make the valentines last a little longer exactly you can keep that in your house you can bring it on right. your desk at work right. and instead of having a giant bouquet of flowers right. Right. um which i have had on my desk recently it's wonderful but coworkers <laughs> like i can't see around that right beautiful succulents right. will fit right in thank you so much yeah, michelle you can go to goosehollowflowers.com and of course find them on south southwest 19th avenue right here in portland for all your valentine's day needs and beyond. Don't forget the romance, right? Thank yeah. you, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs>